So on the bench is um, a TS four eighty S A T. TS four eighty a Kenwood TS four eighty S A T. It's got the uh, problem with the um, SO two three nines have just gone and well decided to knack it up basically. So the inner inner conductor there is all loose and it gets pushed it gets pushed back. If I can find something to pop it back out with, I'll show you now. So this is the issue with this one. As you can see, the ferrule there, which the um, PL259 uh, center conductor fits into, if you'll focus. There we go. You can see it's, it's virtually flush at the moment, but if we just touch it, it just pops right back in. So, and there we go. This is the issue it's having. And it was causing, well, you can see it move then. Causing in, in, intermittent problems with the uh, VSWR and stuff like that. So, He's bought some compression type uh, PL259s. The person who owns the radio has bought some compression type 259s. Uh, because what he's going to do then is to fit a battle connector on instead. So he just saves weight and tear on the actual plug. So you just fit a battle connector on, do it up tight. And then you plug in and out of the battle connector, and then when that starts to weigh, you just undo it, bin it, pop another battle connector on. I don't have a battle connector handy at the moment. So I've fitted, um, I've, uh, I've cut off both old SO239s. Both of them have got the same issue. And I fitted the one um, compression type. Uh, PL259, not done it up tight yet. It's on there quite sturdy though. So, uh, quite nice plugs, quite heavy duty. So, um, I'm just fitting the second one. So, I cut the old plug off, trim back about 12 millimeters or so using a Nipex um, coax cutter. These are, these are really good, these are. You can adjust the blade for whatever height you want. As you can see the blade in there. That goes over the that goes over the wire. You just wind the blade in. So there's your coax. That goes over there at the at the point you want it. And you just run it around like that. And it scores the outer insulation and you can either just pull it off or if you turn it it will create a spiral and it'll spiral up the coax as you can see now it'll spiral up and you just undo the spiral so that's a nipex um, wire cutter for coaxes so I've cut about 12 mil or so off. So uh, I've put the locking nut on, or the nut, and put the large washer on. Just about to feed over the waterproof seal. There we go, the waterproof seal. Push back the coax. Uh, braid or the outer, whatever you want to call it. Slide on the slide on the ferrule. Make sure it's make sure it goes down tight. Uh, trim it.
So let me just trim this. Okay, so it's trimmed. We've got the actual center conductor. And we've got this little insulator, which I've lost about a thousand times already. It, <laughs> it does tend to end up on the floor. So um, cut the uh, cut into the center conductor, but not all the way through. Uh, it's a bit of plastic there from the machining by the looks of it. Pop that on there. So I'm going to um, tin it because it's going to be soldered. using quite large or um, thick solder. Thicker than I need really. And we just then put that onto there. And just measure it up. Camera's in the way. Uh, about there, that'll do. Pop a bit of flux in there if we can. I should go over. We should be able to get a bit of solder in there. If it'll stay still. Okay, we can pop this into there. Also, you want to make sure you put all the bits on. The plug just fell on the floor. Just a second. You said you want to make sure you put all the uh, all the relevant parts on. The center conductor is sticking through. Let me do it up and check it a minute before I do it up fully. I'll just check it. So there might be a bit of resistance there. Obviously, it's going through the circuitry of the PA, but there shouldn't be a direct short, which it isn't. So we've re we don't have any strands leaking over by the looks of it. So this must be the antenna uh, socket which is actually in use at the moment because this one is showing a open circuit whereas this one is showing around about 190 ohms so I'm guessing this one is connected to the relay at the moment by the front panel button so I'll try it later 
I'll swap it over and hopefully this one will be open circuit as well. So that's, um, that's fitting the compression type of coax um, plugs, PL259s. That's just a, that's just a, a cover. So I'll do these up now. And uh, my buddy will have to get a battle connector or two. And away you go. So just to uh, finish off, to do them up on these particular plugs, you're going to need 14 mil and 11 mil. So quite tight that'll do don't over tighten it don't want to strip any threads or anything so there we are. TS forty uh, TS. I'll fire it up in a minute and give it a whirl, make sure the Both plugs are working okay.